Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore the companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Nikhil. Today, we're turning our attention to Abvi Inc., a major player in the pharmaceutical industry known for its innovative therapies and blockbuster drugs. We'll be discussing how behavioral finance impacts their decision-making, diversity and inclusion efforts, adaptation to different markets, and how they compare to other companies in the industry. Let's dive in. Abvi has established itself as a leader in pharmaceuticals, particularly with its top-selling drug, Humira. But from a behavioral finance perspective, how do biases like the endowment effect and overconfidence influence their decision-making, especially in areas like drug development and patent strategies? The endowment effect is particularly relevant to Abvi's approach to its blockbuster drugs like Humira. The company places a high value on its existing products, which can make them more resistant to change or innovation that might disrupt their current revenue streams. This effect is evident in how aggressively AppBuy has defended Humira's patents, using litigation and other strategies to extend its market exclusivity for as long as possible. Overconfidence also plays a role, particularly in their drug development pipeline. AppBuy's success with Humira and other treatments may lead to an op. And this focus on protecting their key assets, while successful, has made Abvi a reliable investment in the pharmaceutical sector, especially for those looking for consistent returns. However, it also raises questions about how well the company is positioned for the future as patents expire. Exactly. Abvi's commitment to maximizing the value of its existing products appeals to investors who prioritize stability and consistent revenue. However, the reliance on a few key products like Humira also exposes the company to risks associated with patent cliffs and competitive pressures, making innovation and pipeline development critical for long-term growth. Let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion at Abvi. The pharmaceutical industry is deeply involved in global healthcare, so DEI is particularly important. How does this intersect with behavioral finance? AppVi's approach to DEI is essential, especially in an industry where understanding diverse patient populations is crucial for developing effective therapies. From a behavioral finance perspective, strong DEI initiatives can enhance the company's ability to innovate and address the needs of a global market. A diverse workforce brings a variety of perspectives leading to more creative solutions and better decision-making in drug development and patient care. For investors, AppVi's commitment to DEI signals that the company is socially responsible and forward-thinking, which can enhance its heart. Investors are increasingly considering DEI when evaluating companies, especially in industries like pharmaceuticals, where the ability to serve diverse populations effectively is key to success. That's right. By embedding DEI into their corporate culture, AppVi not only enhances its ability to develop therapies that meet the needs of diverse patient populations, but also strengthens its market position and attractiveness to socially conscious investors. Moving on to global markets, AppVi operates in over 170 countries, offering a wide range of therapies. How does the company adapt to different markets, and what role does behavioral finance play in this? AppVi's global strategy involves tailoring its product offerings and marketing strategies to meet the specific needs and regulatory requirements of different regions. From a behavioral finance perspective, this adaptability is crucial for managing the risks associated with international operations and varying healthcare systems. The company's ability to navigate complex regulatory environments and adapt its therapies to local market conditions allows it to effectively compete in diverse regions. This approach helps AppVi mitigate the risks associated with global expansion while maintaining 
And this adaptability is especially important for AbbVie, as they face competition from both local pharmaceutical companies and global giants. Their ability to maintain their brand's trust and relevance in various markets is key to their continued success. And this adaptability is especially important for AbbVie, as they face competition from both local pharmaceutical companies and global giants. Their ability to maintain their brand's trust and relevance in various markets is key to their continued success. Exactly. AppVi's focus on understanding local market dynamics and adapting its strategies accordingly allows them to remain a strong competitor in the pharmaceutical industry while staying ahead of emerging trends and challenges. However, this also requires them to be proactive in responding to changes in global healthcare trends and regulatory requirements. Now, Let's compare AbbVi to other companies in the pharmaceutical industry like Pfizer, Merck, and Bristol-Myers Squid. How do the behavioral finance dynamics differ? AbbVi's dynamics are often compared to other pharmaceutical giants like Pfizer and Merck, especially given their focus on blockbuster drugs. AbbVi's reliance on Humira and its aggressive patent strategies have created a different risk profile compared to Pfizer and Merck which have more diversified portfolios. Investors in AppBuy may be more focused on the company's ability to defend its market share and develop new therapies to replace aging products. Pfizer, with its broader range of vaccines and treatments, appeals to investors interested in a more diversified healthcare play. Bristol My. And unlike Pfizer, which has been more diversified across various treatment areas, AbbVie's heavy reliance on a few blockbuster drugs presents both a high reward opportunity and a potential risk, especially as patents expire and competition increases. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value and potential risks. For AppBuy, the focus on patent protection, innovation, and global adaptability provides a unique value proposition in the pharmaceutical industry. To sum up, AppVi's approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles whether it's through their patent strategies, global market adaptations, or their approach to DEI. But like all companies, they are still subject to the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics provides a clearer picture of what drives AppVi's stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Nikhil. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives.